Understanding the phrase, keep under monitor. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English expression that you might come across in various contexts. Keep under monitor. This phrase isn't the most common, but understanding it can really showcase the depth of your English proficiency. So, let's break it down and see how it's used in real-life scenarios. At first glance, keep under monitor might seem a bit confusing. Essentially, this phrase means to keep something or someone under observation or to continuously watch or track them for any changes or developments. It's very similar to saying, keep an eye on, or monitor closely. However, it's important to note that keep under monitor isn't a standard phrase in English. The more commonly used expression is keep under observation or simply monitor. The mix-up might result from direct translations from other languages into English or a blend of the phrases keep under observation and monitor. Despite its unconventional status, Understanding this phrase allows for flexibility and comprehension, especially in informal contexts or when interpreting non-native English speakers' intent. If you decide to use a version of this phrase, it's best to stick with the more widely recognized forms like keep under observation for medical or scientific contexts where continuous watch is necessary, monitor closely for situations requiring vigilant oversight, like project management or child supervision. Using the correct version ensures clarity and prevents confusion, making your communication more effective. Let's look at a few examples to see how you might encounter or use this phrase correctly. 1. Incorrect. We need to keep the patient under monitor after the surgery. Correct. We need to keep the patient under observation after the surgery. 2. Incorrect. The manager asked to keep under monitor the progress of the project. Correct. The manager asked to monitor the progress of the project closely. 3. Alternative. Due to the recent changes, it's important to keep a close eye on market trends. These examples illustrate how substituting keep under monitor with more standard phrases can enhance clarity and correctness in communication. We hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, keep under monitor, and its more appropriate alternatives. English is a rich and varied language, full of nuances that can sometimes be tricky but always interesting to learn. Remember, mastering these little details can make a big difference in your fluency and confidence. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more useful tips and insights in our next video. Happy learning!